Oh, what's up, man? How you been? Good, good. Where's everyone else? Uh, we're just waiting for them. Uh, real quick, though, before we do the interview, there's just something personal I wanted to ask you. I need a little bit of help. Kind of want to take my hat off. I know you as a bald icon. Yeah. How should I do it? My guy. Just take it off. Yeah, I, I, guess, I guess I can do it. to every single member of the FS Army watching across the globe. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. And we have a special guest with us here. Joe Coy. And we also have our buddy today, guest, guest co-host, Lincoln. Gentlemen, real quick, let's talk about the sneakers we're all wearing, Welty. I got on these uh, sneakers and stuff, X Adidas Campus. Never released, right? Not released, or I don't know Flex. if they released yet, but they're made to, uh, signify the New York location that they okay. have. Shout out to Peter and Eric. Nice, I did the Nike SB Dog Walkers. So that goes, yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you did there. This is yeah. like the really extreme version of when someone goes on IG and they got the grapes on and they yeah. got like a this bushel is a of grapes. Omar moment. This is like... Yeah, this is, this is a Kai Omar moment. This is basically like Jack Hanna, but sneaker version. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, so boom. There you go, Nike SB, shout out to Black Sheep. And I got to flex to my boy Lincoln here. Shout out to my boy Dylan for letting me use his amazing dog. Joe, what do you got on? Uh, the off-white Prestos. Okay. That's about it. You got uh, they look like before? there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, wear and tear on this one. I took this one everywhere. I wore it on the special, and uh, I got three more of the same okay. damn pair. <laughs> I, I appreciate the wear and tear. For anybody who thinks that my sneakers last week were a little uh, musty, crusty, and dusty, please, like I said, I have a lifetime supply of those Reebok baits. Shout out to Ron. So they're coming back. You know what I mean? Hey, uh, uh, this week, your sim similar thing. Bach Boys, the GR stuff, uh, white. Gum, Reebok Classic Leather. Bok, 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 boys. I, I yeah. want you to get that Reebok bag. He's went four weeks in a row wearing Reeboks. Yeah. Name one American that wears Reeboks four weeks, four different Reeboks in a month. Those are the classics, though. He's the man. He's now that we got that out of the way, let's talk sneaker news. First thing we're discussing here, uh, Kawhi Leonard looks like he's suing Nike. He just filed a lawsuit saying that they copyrighted his logo without his permission. The, the five, the five fingers. Yeah, basically, it's kind of interesting. He's saying he originally designed this logo for himself, and that Nike kind of tweaked it a little bit, and he let Nike use it. And then, uh, without his knowledge, Nike filed a copyright for it, and now he wants to use it. Are you a Kawhi guy? I, I now I am. I posted this video of that that last shot that he did oh, yeah. to win the game. I thought that, that was like, man, that was like a Hoosier throwback, man. I was, I love that that shot, but. I hope he sent it through email and didn't just pull yeah, the picture out of his pocket and give it to Nike because then you don't have a case, bro. Yeah. Oh my but God. But if you got a paper trail, then yo, you're, Nike's gonna lose. I think, I think New Balance may secretly be behind this, you know, because they have him on the brand now. And yeah. They, if they want to use his logo, it, yeah. it may not be Kawhi himself. I don't know. This isn't substantiated, but you sure? I would assume if he signed with the new sneaker brand, they Popping want to. right into the conspiracy theory. They want to, yeah. Can uh, I say one thing? What? If New Balance gets involved, you know Nike will just buy your company, right? Oh, God. I, I'm just saying, it's the, wrong, the wrong beast you want to mess with. I hope New Balance sends some shots in this and kind of keeps things interesting. Yeah. Dude. Yes. But Kawhi did say in the, in the lawsuit that he the reason this is happening is because he wants to use it on his own apparel and footwear going forward. So we sure. assume it's... Are you a New Balance guy at all? I, no, I haven't been. Heavy on the Jordan thing. Yeah, Jordans, and, and then of course the the, the collabos that I've been in love with. Okay. And speaking of Jordans, shattered backboards. They're making another version. Yeah. Like one, they take yeah. a picture. It's pictures to take a look. This is the new one. It's have like you a, seen these? Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah. So this is the third. You have the installment. original shattered backboards in the closet. You remember the orange? I have. And the black I have the orange. That right, one. right, right, yes, there, right. Yes. So they're making another one. They won't stop. This is actually technically the fourth one. Oh, because of the satin. They the did women's the women's version, one. Yeah. Right. Okay. Those are nice. Third one per se for men, which is the one I just showed you that looks like a used condom. Um, is that what it looks like? To me? It, it's, it looks like it's like covered in like amniotic fluid, right? <laughs> yeah, like what, Joe, what take, what does this make you feel? I don't know, you might love this and you might- You're, you're gonna hate me. 
I actually like this one. Actually, do you like that one more than the uh, Yeah, I knew you one? would. Do you love it more Wait, than you yours? Wait, you like that more than the, the first, first one? Ones? Not more than the first one, but I do like that one. Really? Just, just a, the, Is that a, just a horrible shot? Like, is it, okay, is it that's like... The, that's the one thing, is we always got to uh, caveat these things, because there's these early leaker photos that come out, and, you know, they're going to look a lot better later on. Yeah. We don't know if this like, is I hate his ankle more than I hate the shoe, so maybe <laughs> it's an board thing, but... You know, shot on a potato. Like, for right now. <laughs> someone said it may... Someone was speculating that it's maybe made to look like glass, and that's why it looks like that. This is way too shiny. Yeah, it's a little shiny. Are they like running out of inspirations for like? I mean, yeah. that that for sure. One this is supposed good, to maybe come out in October. One good thing I will say is maybe that the leather will give like really good, like wear down really well. Yeah, That's I don't think so. Maybe, but if it's shiny leather, I don't think it's gonna wear well at all. I'm you know fit. what? They almost look like they come like pre shrink wrapped, which makes a lot of sense. You just Hilarious. take them right to Flight Club, yeah, right? To fl yeah, it's just straight oh, to Flight my. Club. Don't flight even club? wrap it. Just put it on the <laughs> take wall. Take it out the box and send it. Joe, do you shop at Flight Club or not, or you go to like? You pay crazy retail, yeah, retail I, prices? I, I pay the resale, uh, the, whatever the resale is. Really? I don't care, man. Must be good that money, I right? just, I don't care. That's and I wear them, and, and here's another, th oh, that's funny. That's where it went? Here's, here's another thing I do. I throw the boxes away, <gasps> man. What? Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I, I wear my shoe. Cool yeah, I, I wear, wear my, my shoe because I wear the shoe. I, I don't. I don't stock. Boxes I, are for kids. I, I really do. Uh, every time I buy them, I, I just I, I tell them to throw the box away, and they're like, "Are you sure?" You put them on. You right know, in all the store? sales are final. I'm like, I know, I'm good. I'll, you put them on right in the store and walk out. Put them out on with and them? walk out with them. Wait, yeah. have, you, have you ever resold sneakers yourself? No. Uh, you did used to sell shoes though. I yeah, I sold right? a ton of shoes. Well, uh, I worked for I worked for shoes? Champs. No, you know, oh, like okay, Foot Locker. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I worked for Champs. I think I worked for a Foot Locker. Foot Locker only for like a couple weeks. Champs, I was there for a couple months. Were you making taking advantage good? of the discount pretty heavily? Oh, yeah, for sure. You're man. making that good minimum wage plus 1% yeah. commission? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they didn't give us any commission at all. <laughs> When I was working at Athlete's Foot, mm -hmm. um, wow. that was where I put my first pair of Jordans on layaway, the fours, light blue. I wish I could put Jordans Go on layaway on the now. Things, going on the things from that era, though, Stranger Things x Nike is yeah. a collaboration that's happening. Yeah. You Stranger Things got Joe? No, I, I, I'm into it, but I tried looking for the... We don't want to upset Netflix here. Yeah, no, not at all. Ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're the best. Hands down. <laughs> right? The best. Uh, but Full no. one coming to Netflix soon. There's a Nike Cortez in there. Oh, wow. Oh, that's going to be that's cool. Uh, there's a Nike Tailwind in there, and I think there's okay, a Nike can I, Blazer Okay, can, can I interrupt you? Yeah. Does the Cortez just have, like, a logo of Stranger Things, it's like, got, off to the right? It's high school logo, <laughs> the Hawkins High School logo, I think. But let's bring it all back to Reebok for one second, if we can, and Bait as well, because Reebok and Bait already did this, a Stranger Things collaboration, you know, so so was it good? I mean, it was it was okay, but like it just looks like Nike's a follower. I here. feel like Especially okay so in the shoe world these days the don't really cut things. it. It doesn't cut it. That's a wrong. I don't know. Would you take them? I wouldn't pay money for them. If I got them for free, you would rock. Wear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, Joe, I know you said you wore these uh, on the Netflix special. Is that right? Yeah. What's the name of the special? It's uh coming in hot. <laughs> Streaming right now. Oh, thank you. That was very nice. How do you pick out your shoes for a special? This one my son picked out. I was going to walk out with some blue Hirachis. <laughs> I saw you did the Bread 11s in one of, in one of your specials. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Was that like a conscious decision? You felt like wanted to feel like Mike on stage? My, or... Man, that's an old special you had too, the big, man. Like, NT yeah. Denim, like... yeah, dude. I think it was just like my thing to always rock Jordans all the way through. And then this special, I just uh, I you decided... were trying to tap into the hype I was community to like get into your comedy. We hope that we hope that pays off for you. <laughs> we hope that pays off. For you. I was gonna wear Hirachis, man. Hira I mean, I would have been mad at your master fit. I think you made a better move with that. Thank you, oh, thank you. For sure, for we actually come on literally had to beg a guy to go open his store and, and bring the, and we gave him two tickets to the show. And how much did you pay? I think oh, it was eight hundred. Oh, not bad. I thought he was going to say eighteen hundred. No, no. Oh, okay. Like that's the guy. Those. He's friends of mine. He, they oh. own. Uh, yeah. That's a great price for those. Yeah. That's a great price for those. Okay. Those cool. expensive. Good job. Pays to know friends and have tickets to his show. Hey, Amen. I seen an old picture of you, man, with oh, some man. with some fives on. Yeah. Or whatever. And you say, you know, you've been a sneakerhead before sneakerheads was being cool, right? Yeah, exactly. And I was rocking the fives when the fives came out. Right. Like I feel like a lot of comedians wear good kicks. Yeah. And I didn't expect that. Like, what is that about? One, we don't have an overhead, we don't have to pay for this like you guys do, so we gotta make Coming sure this, this is, oh, is this? <laughs> our brand is right here, so we gotta, we gotta have the best shoes on stage, we gotta have the best 
jacket. I don't know, man. This is funny, though. The dog right? is, yeah. <laughs> the dog I was wondering, yeah. man, I was wondering I'm, I'm if we were yeah. going to acknowledge what was happening I, with the dog or if I we was, were just going to keep Yeah, I, I, I hope to keep going. But the way he's walking looks like one of those goats on the side of a cliff. <laughs> you know what I'm He's like balancing he's just, on a kneecap yeah. and then back leg I on love it. Not there, wealthy, and now uncomfortable. Person. Yeah, I love it. Get Guess who's not comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else. Like, that's what I wanted to do. Episode, just talk about the dog instead of doing an actual interview. <laughs> love you, Lincoln. Like but can we just say? Can we just before we start this? I was the original. Uh, you were the original. Thank you. I'm meetings? the original shoehead. The original. I was the original. Okay. So in we, the in the comedy game. We can get okay. into this. We can get into this. All right. Let's just I'm get just into start, it. I'm just starting. Let's get into it. Let's start from. No, there's no. There's no V. Oh, it's beef. Right. Talk about Joe. No, talk was, about fits. Let's or sneakers and all that. Okay. Pete Davidson. I actually have not seen Pete Davidson's sneaker game. So he don't. Uh, wow. Total disrespect for Pete Davidson. You never, never. No, I, I've never. I never paid attention to his. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Never paid attention. So dumb. Wow. I did not say that. I said I never paid attention to his shoe game. Right. Yeah. Right. Pete, come on the show. Stop ducking us. No, I think the one guy that I've seen uh, with like heat is Jason. That guy. Jason Sudeikis. Oh, yeah, my that my guy. Goodness. The one comparison we really got to ask you though, Brendan Schaub. Are you a bigger sneakerhead than him? Um, Brendan, he's really into it right now. I, he keeps. But just he, what was me? I'm the original Brendan sneakerhead. Yeah. Not Brandon Schaub. But anyways, go on. <laughs> Brandon Schaub, come on the show. Do you ever talk to these young guys like, you guys don't know anything about I hate it when about... they come up to me and they're like, you rock those, Joe? I'm like, right. bro, I was doing this way before. You were right, stealing right, your dad's right. nuts when but, I was doing this, But you had Jerry Seinfeld doing the sneakers back in the day, too. Jerry, though. see, Jerry and I came up at the same time. Jerry wow. was rocking them old white man, uh, mm -hmm. New, were they the New Balances? No, he was wearing Nike all the time. Were they Nike yeah. all the time? But yeah. yeah, he would always rock those on his show. But Have you met Jerry Seinfeld? Never met him. Oh, okay. okay. After the special, it's happened. Yeah. It happened. <laughs> I, I want to know how you kind of got into Jordans in the first place. You know, I, I have the, you know, the Fleer sticker still from 84. Yeah. I got 20 boxes of Wheaties with the posters on it. Like, uh, Jordan was my guy. What was the first pair? Was it those fives you had in that photo? Uh, no, my first pair was uh, the, the blue threes. I bought those from a friend at school, and I bought it used mm -hmm. so that that's how i got those what would that be true blue true threes, yeah. right true okay. yeah blue, okay. and then my second pair were the the black black yeah right? black yeah. Right. yeah you still have those pairs sitting around no somewhere? they're gone man long gone your love of jordan goes far people recognize it though you we've seen people after your uh shows have you signed yeah how did that start and what was that like and those came off my feet Game so i actually gave them oh you gave it to them yeah and then and then it, and then it just started like this thing where people are walking up to me like yo can i have your shoes is that weird <laughs> Start signing, and then now they're bringing their shoes, and I'm signing. That never happened it. to you, Wealthy? Uh, no. But <laughs> no game war. If, if you would, we have a special pair of Jordans here. Man, come on, please. These are actually these are actually real. These are real. They're customs. They were customs by Mosh. Uh, SpongeBob. They've been a part of the set. That's cool. Would it be possible for you to be part of our set? Let's uh, go. To get a, an official Joe Coy signature on the SpongeBob. Does it ever feel sacrilegious when you sign a pair of Jordans? No. Not at all. <laughs> he said no. My favorite thing was taking my son, every year I'd send him to Jordan camp because right. Jordan always signs one thing for every kid. And I brought, uh, you know, breads every time for my son. Good job. Yeah, and, and he would sign it on the toe, which is where you're supposed to sign it. And then the one time I gave my son uh, my size, he signs it on the back. I'm like, Mike! <laughs> Why'd oh you do my. that to me, man? Did you snatch the sneakers back from your yeah, son? Yeah, I, I was like, yo, go back in line. Wait, wait, wait did he what? say at the camp, is it true that Michael Jordan said, fuck them kids? Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. I don't know if he said that. I do remember him saying, uh, a kid goes, who would win on one-on-one, -on -one, you or Kobe Bryant? And he goes, I would win because Kobe stole all my moves. And all the kids went, oh! And, and he goes, and then he goes, it's true. Yeah. So we got some MJ fits we want to ask your opinion on because we know Michael Jordan is such an incredible dresser. I wait till you finish Hilarious. putting that uh, John Hancock on there. Wow. Show the camera, bam. You gotta, you gotta, yeah. You gotta, put, you gotta put that one into the camera. I got you, brother. Thank you. That's dope. Starting fit number one here. Um, what do you think about this fit? Oh, can I just say something? I've never been a fan of Michael Jordan's outfits. Not the most you never, controversial you never looked opinion. up to him? Man, I, I was never a fan of his... I, Look, I, I don't know what that is. I feel like it's two outfits. 
There's a lot. Sorry, Mike. I love you. Outfits. That's funny. I feel like he's like, I forgot my gray coat. Where's my dark coat? Yay and nay. Yay and nay. I mean, I whatever. Yeah. Do we have some other photos of Michael here? Okay. So this this is the era of MJ. You know, you grew up reveling in. Yeah. 1996. This is it. This I remember this, but I also remember him. Me saying to myself. Did he tuck his T-shirt into his jeans? Oh, you like you remember saying? Oh, that. I remember saying that wow. clearly because he would always wear it real high and tuck it real deep. So even back then, you knew that you, you appreciated the sneakers, but the outfits were yeah, his casual clothing. <laughs> Did I, I let you I down a little bit being such like a fan of Mike, like seeing that he just dresses? Yeah, I'm like Mike. What are you doing, bro? Or did people? Did he, okay, you realize it. Did other people care? I don't, I don't think really, anyone cares. Oh, it's just a Mike. It's Mike. Yeah, it's Mike. Right? <laughs> just let him do. Look, he's just do. He's been doing him. Mike can never put a decent Ever. outfit together. Do you play golf, Joe? I play, but I throw the clubs more than I do hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I keep buying new sets all the do time. Do you have the too. Jordan golf shoes too? Or? I didn't buy those, no. One more Jordan shoe. This is, I actually wore this exact outfit last no, week. No, you did so. not. Just put pretty, his face on the Pretty on close. The he kind of pretty pretty much this last is, week. I feel like he I feel like he pulled this off. I don't. Look. <laughs> I you know what? Here's a here's a bad thing. We we keep forgetting that he's six foot six. Yes. So that's I think that's what and then and now that he's retired, he's probably Put on a few pounds. Yeah. Michael Jordan, come on the show. You can't dress six foot six. It's hard, right? Am I, am I a jerk? For Slim, 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 Slim Thug made it work. Have you met him in person? Never met him. No. Nope. Yeah, during Just the camp. Son. Like I'm about to say, Just my son. I yeah, was off. I, you didn't say that, so I figured you didn't. You know, yeah. So. We also saw, too, that you buy multiples of every single sneaker that yeah. you own. Like, what's what's that about? Especially the ones, you know what I mean? Like, or, and, and, and the twos. They, they tend to crease right away across the toe box. So. How many wears until you toss them? That's Shoot. probably about three or four times on stage. Where do you stand on the force shields, you know, the little plastic thing you put in the toe box to, to, to fight the creases? You know, you know. You, ever, you no. never rock any of that stuff? I don't do that. I don't, no, I don't do it. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm I just you. let it go. I'm with you. What do you do with the pairs then after, like? I give them away. Yeah? Yeah. Terrible man. I want to talk about the sneaker obsession in the Philippines, because we, we have a big uh, following out there. I'm told. The Where Philippines is? is a huge basketball. <laughs> Yo, I love they, I love the names of the the PBA teams. Yeah, like the juicy, juicy giant hot dogs. The yeah. Kia Sorrentos. It's all very like the, the commercialism the, is right there. Yeah, man. Yeah. That, well, that's the name of the team too. It's yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. That's what, it's corporate sponsors actually yeah. own the team. So yeah. you got like San Miguel team. You know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. their beer. Yeah. It's like it has what's your to impression do with of the sneaker scene out there? They got everything that we have here. It, yeah. It's so cool, and the, the culture is the same too. You know what I mean? Not only are they rocking it, but they're living it too. Now, Joe, I want to ask you a question about <clears throat> Asian sneaker culture and the stereotypes that come along with it. <laughs> Do you, growing up, no, I mean, I feel that they, they are. There yeah. are of, I mean, it's stereotypes and everything. I'm asking you this because, well, of course you're, you know, Philippine. Philippine. Yeah. Oh, whatever, and, and you love Philippine. Jordans. Yeah, he's a Philippine. That's cool, that's just one, <laughs> it's just one it's like Philippine. Hawaiian, but Philippine. <laughs> there it is, right? Where do these stereotypes come from, man? I'll, I'll just speak on Filipinos, Filipinos right? Filipinos, right? Two words to sum it up, Imelda Marcos. If you don't know who she is. She supposedly has like a, tons of shoes, right? Yeah. Man, she had, I think she had 40,000 shoes or mm. something like that. She had an entire house mm. dedicated to shoes. Sheesh. So uh, that was the Slightly first. Slightly more than Wale. Yeah. In the Philippines? And we're not talking like pay less shoes. Like she had he, Gucci, she had Prada, she had all that stuff. As you can tell, it's in her blood. <laughs> you know what it mean? is. That's, it, that's in, her, in her DNA. Answer. Speaking of getting tons of shoes, how'd you get your Nike plug? I don't even have a Nike plug. I John used to Nielsen? have this. Was that your I had a Nike plug. That's that crazy to even know that. He used to hook me up with Jays a lot, but then it just was to the point where I was like, I don't want to wait for him. I'm yeah, just going to nah. get him. I can afford it. So. I love that. I know you went to the Nike employee store too back in the day. Was that, was that a big moment for you the first time you ever got yeah, to go there? Yeah, they gave me like a huge credit. Really? So, Every time I go, I never get credit. That's really weird. But really? I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to some people about that, but go on. <laughs> you're kidding me right now. I'm, that's the truth. I think you're just doing this, this for- is, No, this is a flex. Go on. <laughs> I'm Continue. not. I'm no. sure go, you go, should. Go, go. No, keep it going. You're going right now. Well, maybe right you should now. stop rocking the Reebok Classics, <laughs> <They> gotta, you <laughs> jerk. <laughs> they got to convince me he to wants, come back he over. He wants credit with Nike and he's rocking. Fuck uh, boy. Uh, yeah, they just gave me this huge credit. And this is when I first started going on the road. And I remember it was my first time in Portland yeah. to do a show. It was just a blessing, man. I filled two shopping carts, bro. And I didn't even dip into my wallet. It was just, it was all paid for. Incredible. Yeah, it was. Must be nice. Yeah, it was, it was great. Joe, every week here on the show, we punish somebody who had the worst take in the last episode, as decided by the commenters on YouTube. And we uh, make them switch out their shoes for a terrible pair of shoes. 
Turns out it is me this week for any number of any number of uh, verbal I fuck ups. I may have worn these on the shoe okay. once uh, before, on but on the shoe. <coughs> Worst take. Well, I feel like that's how I won over the youth too. So I'm, I'm skip. Did I say? You said flip. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm flipping this one. I'm, I do apologize to the people. Uh, this, what is, this may be a uh, controversial my... take for oh, the worst take shoe. My the shoe God. we're trying to kill. I wish, are... I wish the shoe would die. We got the Come Fila on. Disruptor. Y'all are disrespect. This is a new shoe. This, ain't even, this, this, is, this is like, is a... like every female in New York's like favorite sneaker right now. You see a lot, of, a lot of European tourists wearing this shoe. Well, that 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 explains everything. A lot of, a lot of yeah. girls at Urban Outfitters like wearing this shoe. And I'm about to join their mids. Yeah. yeah. So, Joe, we also do a segment called Drip Flip or Skip. Yes. And drip is, it looks good, you Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever flip <laughs> is, mm, you like it, but you wouldn't wear it, so you resell it. Yeah. And then skip, you don't fuck with it at all. No. It's all right? pretty good on your feet, Brendan. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> they give you a few inches. I don't know. Oh, God. Do they hurt? I don't know. I might have to do a couple laps. Or I think they hurt his ego more than the shoes. It is painful shoes. on, on yeah. some levels. <laughs> So, Joe, the first shoe that we're going to talk about is the Flyknit Jordan 4s. This is a drip flipper skip for you, sir. There's like Man. four different colors. This is one of them. I'm going to skip. All right. You're skipping a Jordan? Yeah, I, I can't. I can't do it. Is it because of this, like, modern upgrade to it? Yeah. Something about the new buck on the, the 4 just looks so sick. Actually, on an earlier episode, we talked about the shoe, and Action Bronson told Brendan that he should wear this shoe, like, naked to a beach. <laughs> Brendan, drip flip is good? That's, yeah, that's the only circumstance in which I'm going to drip this. Otherwise, it's a skip. It's weird. The, the Jordan 4 is such a, like, technical-looking silhouette that you almost think that flying it would look good on it, but not quite. Walty? Yeah, it's, it's a skip. The, one of the nice things about the Jordan 4 does it's kind of big and boxy, you know, of a silhouette, right. and you kind of took that away, and it kind of kills, like, the cool appeal to it. Yeah. I'm going to go drip okay. just because I feel like you can, I can get a fit off in this yeah, you on the beach. Yeah, you the U.S. Open, maybe? Maybe the U.S. Tennis ball maybe colorway. That, you know, or a uh, Joe Coy comedy special. Oh, I like that. I already like you that. Know? You know what? I'm going to change my answer, too. You got tickets for us? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Always! <laughs> Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Moving forward, we got the uh, Pat of Jordan 7s. I'll start with you. Well, it's a drip flipper skip. Uh, when I first saw this shoe, I wasn't so into it. I thought, like, maybe just they put the padded thing on the side, but I fuck with the padded dudes. I actually think it's a drip. Because you don't want to upset the guys that padded? No, I think, I think uh, it looks a lot better. I think it's sunk in a little bit that the colorway is dope to be the original. Brendan, drip flipper skip? I uh, actually feel a similar way that Wealthy does. At first, I was kind of confused as to why Pato was collaborating on Air Jordan 7, but there's some real backstory to it. I appreciate it's a good story. So I I'm not going to buy it. But it, but it is, it. I will say it is a drip. Okay, so it's a drip. But but not for me. Boy, these Caucasian technicalities. <laughs> yeah. Joe, drip flipper skip. Oh, man. Deep sigh, looks, audible sigh. Well, it just looks like the original. Yeah. It's like, if you're gonna do a collabo, I think it needs to be like... You'd rather just have the original one instead? Yeah. Skip. Skip, yeah. okay. Yeah. Right. So, I would say for me, I'm gonna say that this is a flip. Earlier, when I first seen them, when we first talked about it, yeah. I was like, oh, I can't wait. These are right up my alley. You got alley. the crazy tracksuit with it, though, too? I'm not mad at that, but I seen them. Um, shout out to my boy uh, who owns Urban Necessities. And, Two J's. And I seen these in person at his shop, and I was like, I'm cool. Uh, moving forward, we got the Pegasus Trail from Nike. This is a very Brendan Dunn shoe. Very Brendan. Brendan, I'm going to start with you. Brendan Dunn, drip, flip, or skip? Pegasus Trail 36. I really like the shape of the Pegasus line right now. Full disclosure, I am getting a free pair of these and going on a Nike press trip around them, so I, I am quite biased here, but I do appreciate the shoe. I don't like the big logo on the medial. Overall, though, it is a drip. Do you like the sunset swoosh on it? <sighs> Music to my ears. Joe, drip yeah. or skip, sir? That, that's definitely a drip. I, I just love that shoe. I got... I, I don't have that particular right. one, but I, I love I love yeah. that. And you got the right yeah, outfit to go like trail running on, like right yeah. now. Going for a jog in these? Yeah. yeah. I don't run though. I don't run, but I'll walk, I'll walk fast. fast. I'll walk really, oh, really fast. I'm I promise about. you. Wealthy. Ah, uh, just a skip. I just wouldn't wear it. Uh, it's it's a skip. It's a skip. I want to see you guys on the trails. No, but maybe Gerald could okay. run with you. Happy okay. trails, Brendan. Moving forward, we got the Tefra Yeezy 700. Joe? Oh, come on, not me first. <laughs> yes, Joe. Come on, man. I see it in your eyes. You fuck with Kanye or skin. not? I, I love Kanye. Asian, I mean, uh, um, uh, Adidas. I, I'm not buying into it. I'm sorry. It, it's a complete you. skip for me, man. This is my son all over it. 
Okay. So, yeah, he right. loves it. So my son would say that's a drip. But Second generation drip. Shut yeah. up. This is actually a drip for me. These colorways, oh. I'm getting so confused with them. They, they all look the same. I felt like the shoe already released yeah. before somehow. It hasn't, whatever. It, it looks good enough to me. Kind of a New Balance uh, looking gray yeah. scale going Shout on Shout out Stephen Smith. Stephen Smith, come on the show. Oh, I, wealthy? Um, it's not like... Or Wealthy Stomach, both of you are talking. Yeah, I got a little, yeah, I got a little <laughs> rumbling going on. Drip flippers. <laughs> It's not offensive, so um, I like the color combination it's with the gum It's not offensive. Soap. No, it's not like some shit where you're like, Ooh. does it make you- PC culture working its way into the sneaker game? Yeah, like? exactly. I know you've been fighting against that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so this is a drip flipper skip? I, 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 I like the gum sole on it, so yeah, drip. Uh, I think your stomach, yeah, I know. the dog understands it, yeah. the language. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're speaking to the dog with your stomach. <laughs> it's a flip. I'm gonna say flip. So you don't like it either? No, but I mean, Joe, I want you to be comfortable in it. No, but you made me feel so bad. <laughs> flip means you don't like it. No, 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 no. Flip means that I wouldn't wear it, remember? No. Nope. Skip means I don't like it. Flip means that I wouldn't wear it, I'll sell it. It's nice though. Flip means you'll sell it because you would never wear it. No. Hands you down. change my goddamn rules, Joe. What type of man? Yeah. Don't come on here with that shit. Wait, are you rewriting the rules to our show? I, I, what the I, fuck? I'm just saying, a flip means you don't want it. You would never wear it. Would Skip. you wear it? Oh, Kanye gave it to me for free? Oh. I'm wearing it to your special tomorrow. Okay, yeah, that's true. Like it's <laughs> okay, if, tomorrow. If, if Kanye gave it to me too, I come would wear on, it. Come on, Joe. I would like, wear it, what? yes. You're right. Moving forward. We do outfits too, and there's no person's outfits better to do than Joe Coy. <laughs> oh, the damn. most. This is like. Look how this, many socks I got folded. This is my introduction to you. Like, this is how complex introduced me to Joe Coy. But the most I important love. thing is you had hair back then, right? Yeah, I had the hair. Simpler times. Uh, if you look on the ca on the couch, you it's can a see a just do pack, it, a like... just do it fanny pack. <laughs> Drip flipper skip for this is for you. Oh what, what are you gonna God. give yourself? Uh, that one? Yes. No, yeah. Hey, that's OG right there, man. Look at them Nike gray yeah. shorts, bro. Oh, come yeah. on. That's OG. What kind of that's, that's, is that? What, what kind of year is that? Ninety. Oh man, that's an oversized white, just plain white tee. Is this nineteen ninety? Hey there, Delilah. Yeah, I think that's this is nineteen ninety, right? Because that's when those fives came out. Those black fives, right? That's a drip, bro. That's how you wear them. <laughs> yeah, right this is a drip. Look at the look at the reflectors. Look at just, the just going bananas. Oh, Come man. on, sneakerhead before there was a sneakerhead. You Come said on. it, Joe. Yeah, well, it's a, man. Yeah, it's a drip. It's a drip. I really respect seeing people actually have. The, a lot of people claim that they're sneakerheads or whatever. They don't have the actual the evidence to back it up. Yeah, you have the evidence to back it up. You have to respect that. <laughs> yeah, this is a big drip for me. Big. This is drip, drip, drip. Oh, oh man, long. for sure, for sure. Man, I love you guys. Uh, tickets for life, lifetime supply. <laughs> oh, we're not done yet. We're oh, not done damn. Yet. Hey, Don't. Hold on, Joe. Wait before you give no! my lifetime. Hold now, on, Joe. Who's this motherfucker? Oh, man. <laughs> so, take me down. What's going on here? You're at Sirius Radio uh, in New York. Okay, you right? gotta remember this is media run, okay? Yeah, of course. So, it's is very, early very, morning? very, very early. Okay, and from, it's New York time. Yes. Starting I'm from the LA. Pieces, right away. Yes. So, this is actually 7 o'clock your time, four which is 4 o'clock my mind. So, this is the infrared 23. Oh, this is 23. I can Infrared 23 lows, I believe. Yeah, that's an old picture, you guys. Do you fuck with low-top Air Jordans? And I did Jeff then, and I gave those away. I remember I didn't like the way they felt. You felt dirty after wearing low-top Jordans? Or? Yeah, I just didn't like them. But, I, but when I first bought them, I, I was like, yo, those are cold, man. I would skip that completely. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you, actually, I'm going to give you a drip on this, given, given, you know, you said you were kind of playing, you know, on West Coast time still early in the morning. Oh, oh, thank you. I'll give you a pass. Yeah, because if you took a picture of me coming off the plane, like after a flight or whatever, in my like special tracksuit or whatever, I would look like shit. So, <laughs> so unlike all, so these. you give him a pass. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. Thank uh, you. you. You get the pass on this one. You get a drip. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm not giving you a pass. Let's just skip. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, before we do get out of here. He's Gentlemen. been winding you up. He's been you're setting a, you up. I love you, Joe. Uh, I love Joe, you I love too, you, man. man. Come I on, I got a dog here for yeah, you. I you brought got an ambiance. You, you, you got a dog here. that speaks stomach. You got a dog that's got fucking hair all over me, and I got to shoot a promo after this. Thanks a lot, <laughs> Dad. I fucking love you, man. I love you more. Welcome. You got a lint roller around here somewhere. Gentlemen, uh, <laughs> before we get out of here, we do want to read through the comment section, see what people have been saying about the last episode online. Fishhead90 says, I, I definitely recommend the fan drip or skip on the last episode of the last season. So I want pictures, my guys. money by Monday. Don't make me get 50 involved. Uh, I guess 50 Cent is going to be litigating with us over that 50 Cent, come on the we, show. We, we've had that idea for a while. So uh, Victor Cooler says, the, my homie owns a bookstore here in LA, and every Thursday it's full-size run on the projector at the shop. 
Keep up the great work, guys. I gotta, I gotta swing. Shout by out to that, that shop, man. Is that where you go and watch it? I'm work? gonna now. Yeah, that's a must. <laughs> Rochea says, this show has been solely responsible for the replacement of my keyboard twice. The Miss Guthrie moment. Fuck you, Miss Guthrie. <laughs> Aha. And the close-up edits have caused me to regurgitate a generous amount of coffee, tea, and water into my keyboards. That's because awesome. of this, you guys better get to 200,000. Ruining keyboards all around America. America. Joel Lapuma's like gonna take us sneaker shopping if we get to 200,000 subscribers. Oh my God, how so beautiful shout is that? us out to the next Netflix yeah, special, right. done. That's gonna be a huge moment uh, once it happens. Hit that subscribe button, guys. This has been another episode of Full Size Run. I am your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Cheering that, James. And the drip, Joe Coy. <laughs> And Lincoln, oh, our right. SB puppy, the or guest dog, doggy. for some reason. <laughs> she, she, she won every color, that's a full size. Buy six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. So the Puma gave me some good news. What did you say? Uh, we fired? are getting our own episode of Super Shop. Oh, hoo -hoo. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Seriously. Um, there is a caveat. Oh boy. We have to get 200,000 subscribers on the Soul Collector YouTube page by July. How oh, no sweat. the fuck are we going to do that? Come on, we can do it. Do you want Do you want to be a star? Shit, if this makes us a star, all right. We need everybody's help. Guys, everybody watching this, every single time, press the goddamn subscribe button. Get us to 200,000. I'm trying to show out with my boy Joe. Come on. I mean, that's a life goal, right? One of them. Okay.